Hi, this is Paul Bowerman of Bowerman 9, 939, Brigham Tea Company. And I'm doing a whole series on uh, wild edibles. And my next plant, now the, the dandelion has already gone to seed in my area. So I've, we're up here in Bountiful, Utah. And uh, I just wanted to show you what you're looking for in the, the dandelion, you want something like this that's uh, small, doesn't have any uh, buds on it yet. That's when they're the most tender. And you simply take your knife and you cut down below the surface and you pull that all up and see how it's, you want just a little bit of root with it it and that that's a perfect one right there and you peel this black stuff off and then you cut this really really close to the edge of the you leave just a touch of the root on there and that is a perfect uh, dandelion wild edible that you will I'll show you in another video how to eat that but Every bit of the Dane line is edible. Every little tiny bit of it. That's another good one right there. And again, you just you cut that. You cut the root off just just under the deal. Anyhow, that's uh So right here is where I got the dandelions yesterday. This is what I want you to see for this video. This is the kind of dandelion we're looking for right there. They're the best ones to eat. They're tender, just delicious. My family's been eating them my whole life that I can remember. Paul Bowerman again on the wild edibles we come up to Bountiful to get dandelions and Look what we've run into. Snow, snowing, so the dandelions are struggling to come out right now, but maybe they'll melt tomorrow and we'll get some more. Got some yesterday, we'll get some tomorrow. Also, I wanted to show you what yarrow looks like when it's first coming out of the ground. Let's see, there it is. See, little tiny, it gets a lot bigger than this. That's Yarrow. Yarrow is uh, really good for you. It's just tiny. Look how tiny that is. Look at that right there. See that? That's Yarrow. It's just barely coming out. So, another good place to look is like where the leaves have been after the snow has melted. And the leaves are protecting it, and and I want to show you. Oops, let me get my finger out of the way. Yeah, so I found one here. It's just it's a little small, but there it is, right there. I don't know if you see it. Now look. Now listen. You don't want to dig that out if you're wanting to save. You want to put your knife down at an angle and cut the root off like that so oh that one turned out just right that is just right right there that is a perfect dandelion to eat um, that way it comes up next year or it comes up it'll come up in a in a few weeks dandelions are really uh, hardy um, plants yeah so under leaves under uh, wood that's been laying around or even under a uh, 
cow pie. The cow pie ones are, you have to wash them off good, but they'll be really big and they'll be that nice yellow tender color that you can see on that one. All right, so what we do come up closer here and we cut it off so you don't kill the dandelion, but you cut it so that it, the, the root is, and then you, you cut it off right there. That's what my family did. Even though this part, the root is really good for you. And I, sometimes I just shove it right back down in the hole. And you have to kind of go around. These these ones that are kind of yellow, they're the best. They're the very best. But see how they'll be in a little... Cut them off right there. And then when you clean them up, you want to get rid of all these dead leaves and that kind of stuff. Perfect. Okay. Just... We're up here in Bountiful. And the deer, it's kind of interesting. This is a fun little uh the deer just hang out in people's backyards and eat the dandelions with me <laughs> bye. bye so this is what we're looking for big patches like this and like i said you cut it down here what i look for is a good i like the biggest one you can find now that is a nice size and you see the little tiny blossom starting for some reason they're a little bitter but that gives it that you can't get them if they start them blossoms right off and you can't get rid of that and then to clean them you cut them right there like that get all that dirt off there put them in your bag and uh, there's another good size one people don't generally care if you cut dandelions out of their yard because most people don't appreciate dandelions like I do. <laughs> uh, I've eaten them since I was 15. My stepdad was Italian. He he taught me how to harvest them and eat them. And it's just as fun to harvest them with your kids probably as it is to... See, that's a beautiful one right there. When I go to clean it up, which I'll show you later on a different video. We'll, so this is a nice little find right here they're all real good size you want that that part right there is really the it has all the nutrition in it and and the it's the the yummy part uh, yummy for me uh, people people have gotten to where they eat so much stuff from the processed that it has a lot of sugar in it a lot of stuff to make it sweet or bitter or hot or whatever and wild edibles are not like that generally wild edibles have just a little bit of bitterness to them and that bitterness is the the medicine that's what makes you feel good and makes you your body and you know i i, I realize i'm no prince charming I'm not <laughs> yes, the guy that, hey look at me i'm awesome but I'm pretty, I'm relatively healthy. I had a very stressful job for a lot of years. Did a lot of stress eating. I'm trying to get away from that. And eating wild edibles is that, is what I'm doing to get rid of that. Get, it helps get rid of the, first of all, it gives you the nutrition that you need, which causes you to naturally sleep better if you sleep better, you eat less junk food, and you just have a better ad attitude towards life. So, anyhow, my next video, I'll be showing you how to prepare them in your kitchen and then eating them. So. Hi, this is Paul Bowerman of Bowerman 939, the Brigham Tea Company. I'm here today working on my series of how to prepare and eat and harvest dandelions. So what I've done here is I have washed these really good and, I, and I've rinsed them and, and but I've still got to clean them even though I've rinsed them real good and I like to put them in ice water it uh, keeps them fresh while I'm working on them I've got some ice here that I've harvested now a couple things I want to show you is 
So when you're cleaning these, you'll want to, and I'll get up close and show you what it, what you're looking for. Um, you're wanting to all this stuff right here. Make sure in frame here. All this stuff right here. All that dirty black stuff needs to come off each one of the the dandelions. As you can see, that's an individual dandelion. It's got a little tiny, a couple little tiny blossoms in there. The stem of the blossom is very bitter, but the blossom itself is not too bad. Um, uh, sometimes when you're harvesting these, again, just it's like so. Here's something unique too that you'll find a lot. There's two in one here, and you kind of got to pull them apart and clean them up and put them in your pot. Now we're going to be making. Well, the way we always ate these is we ate them like a salad. Now, see, here's one. Here's one right here that has a long stem. See, it was tucked down. I couldn't see it. Probably wouldn't normally harvest that. But once I've harvested, I use every, you can eat every part of the dandelion, including these long stems. I like to pinch them long stems off. Put the blossoms. I put these blossoms in a separate bag. And I put them in a green smoothie when I that I eat every morning. Um, the, the 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 stems are very bitter. The the root is not too bad, and the little tiny one blossoms that are right down in there they're not too bad. But anyhow, so again, clean them up, put them in so ice water, keep them fresh, clean all the dead leaves off of them. And just kind of go through each one. We'd spend hours cleaning these when I was a kid. I probably started eating these. Well, what happened was my dad died when I was 10. And uh, my mom met a really awesome man named Frank Malachi. And he was, uh, he had been born in Italy accidentally, actually. What I mean was, is his mom, in 1907, his mom went back to visit her parents in Italy and then she gave birth while she was there and when she came back on the boat uh with she came back with him and so he always said he's a foreign born italian anyhow loved the man he treated me really good he's really kind to me but he one of his things that he we did every spring from from my 12 year old on is we would get these uh dandelions and in the next part of this video i'll show you how to prepare them in a salad and and kind of you know the best i can show you what they taste like now i love the taste of them there's it's like uh just a slight bitterness but then you if you use uh i use uh rice vinegar olive oil or or um uh avocado oil either one salt pepper and then we boil some um we boil some uh eggs and slice eggs and put in and, and I'll, I'll go over that with you next in the next part of this video now again there's going to be some leaves just loose like this i put them in the bag literally put them in my freezer and add it to my green smoothie in the morning so anyhow We'll go to the next uh, video here shortly. I can tie them all together now. Okay, this is Paul Bowerman again, and this is the final stage of uh, preparing dandelions to eat. Um, so I've got my boiled eggs here. I've got my clean, very clean uh, dandelions. I've got all the herbs that I want in it. And we would literally make a meal out of these. So. I'm going to put the dandelions in my bowl. I'm going to add, well, I always added the oil first, which this is avocado oil. And that's a pretty good little batch. Look at a little, and it's all by taste, whatever you like, of course. Then after we put the oil in so that the, uh, so that the uh, salt and pepper, Turn this camera just a little up so you see you can see what I'm doing. Uh, 
There we go. I put the oil on first and then I put my uh, seasoning. I always put pepper. Now that's my personal, one of my personal favorite. And I like fresh ground pepper. And don't be afraid to really, because what you see on top is not necessarily what's going to be all throughout. And it's just like mixing any salad, of course. And I put my salt. And remember that uh, fresh picked dandelions will not have any salt in them. Always add garlic powder. It's pretty liberal with garlic powder. Always add onion powder. Just because I whoops, this is a new, a new. It was getting close. Another one ran out. Anyhow, this is a new thing of onion powder. There we go. Onion powder. Really liberal with that and then I like rice vinegar now as a kid we always used uh, white red wine vinegar but I like rice vinegar much better add some vinegar to it and of course to taste whatever you like I like a lot I like to have enough that I can dip my bread in it when I'm all done Really stir that up so and you taste one. Let's taste one. Mm, mm, mm. Needs to touch more vinegar. Okay. Maybe a little bit more onion. Okay, now, now I'll add your eggs to it. Just to slice them up, right on top. Now we'd make a meal out of this with the uh, egg in there, it'd give you enough protein to uh, a lot of egg. You don't want the egg to overpower the dandelion greens. That's enough of that. Then I've got a little processed uh, meat here that I'm uh, uh, going to cut a little slice of meat. This is actually shelf, shelf stable uh, salted meat, salted goat actually some of that with this it's kind of like the cool thing about it is it's kind of like eating a big old chunk of beef jerky every time you cut it off so here we go and I always have a Mountain Dew with it uh, give me a little egg a little dairy lime mmm I've been craving this mmm <laughs> mm. A little bit of salted meat. Mm. Oh my. Oh. Of course, it must be acquired taste, but oh, I've been craving it. A little bit of meat. More green wine. A little bit of egg. Mm. Oh my. It takes me right back to when I was 12 years old. Look at the size of some of them. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Man. <laughs> takes me right back to childhood. Mm. Oh my. Mm. I 
I've been craving them so much. Well, let me make sure you see me. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> so glorious. A little egg. Oops, sorry. A little egg. Dandelion. I love these big ones that kind of stick out all over your mouth. Ah. Mmm. 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 A little salted meat. Oh, yeah. Do another bit of egg. Mmm. Oh my. Dandelion. These are so tender. Well, tender compared to the ones that are down here. These I got I got in Bountiful. They were, just, they were just coming up. In fact, it had snowed. We got some more, as you seen earlier in the video. Oh my. A little bit of salted meat. Mmm. Thanks for watching. It's Byron 939 of the Brigham Tea Company. Showing you how to enjoy wild edibles. Dandelions are my favorite because I was raised on them. I eat all kinds of greens. It is almost like every year your body needed these vitamins from the dandelions. Because you've been all winter without any greens. Come spring... It's just glorious. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Share if you will. I don't do it for the money. Uh, even though if I get enough views and get paid, that'd be wonderful. I do it for the love of God's beautiful earth and what he has provided for us. Thanks for watching. Diamond 939.